Possibly one of the most underrated features of any modern day iPhone is the amazing standby mode functionality as you have access to a lot of amazing powerful tools right out of the box. And ever since Apple introduces on iOS 17, there's a lot of new amazing features and third party app supports that we haven't seen before got recently added. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and break through all the amazing features, tips and tricks, and everything you need to know about standby mode in a nutshell. So of course, timestamps and everything will be in the video description down below, as well as third party apps will also be in the description below. Let's begin. So compatible devices. As long as you have an iPhone 14 Pro, 15 Pro, 16 Pro, or a new iPhone 17s with an always on display, you have this standby mode functionality. And I really love this because the way this works is you do not need to have a wireless charger in order to get this standby mode to activate you can just physically plug it into a charger but once you actually like attach it to some type of power source as long as the phone can be sideways it will immediately just switch to standby mode but i do enjoy using these magsafe charger stands i have this one in the description down below as well because during my workflow i could switch to a widget page like this one an example that allows me to track upcoming events, or even control my household accessories with HomeKit. And I can also take a quick glance of any upcoming notifications. So the way you customize your nightstand mode, it's as easy as going into your device settings, go in settings on your iPhone, and scroll down until you find standby. It has a whole dedicated section dedicated for this page. And here is where you go in and actually enable standby in general. In the display tab, and on the top page, you have the ability to turn off Turn display off automatically after 20 seconds or never. Automatic works perfectly fine for me. And in here we can enable night mode, which is very similar to like the Apple Watch will turn it shift into that red layout. In low ambient settings, your screen will be red, which allows you to maintain your night vision in case you are using this for a nightstand. But underneath there where it says motion to wake up, this is where you go like a small tap on the desk or a table will automatically cause the display to turn back on. Keep that on for the best functionality in my opinion. And in show notifications, this is where you can decide if you like to see your notifications or not. You could disable it entirely. But by having show notification enabled, you can also enable it so you have to tap to actually preview the body of the message. And that's all there is to it. Now our device is already connected to a power source. So now by simply locking my device and by moving my phone sideways, give it a few seconds, it enables nightstand mode, just like that even gives you a little battery percentage right there of your iPhone status. Now there's three pages to this. This far left one is the widgets that you could customize. The middle one will be your photos, which does give you some privacy because it does need Face ID to unlock. But once you have your device unlocked, this is how your photos look like. You go to the long hold and you can select which one you want to be private or not private. It'll be all categorized based on featured, nature, pets, people but you could tap plus and you could select some custom selected ones from here as well and once you're satisfied just tap done the next one will be your clocks these are the default ones from apple even the world clock and v long hold some of these are also customizable as you can change the colors just like so but you can't delete them or customize them but that's where some third-party apps comes in play you see if we go to the widget page there's this third party app that I downloaded that's called iScreen, which allows me to have some cool watch faces by combining two widgets into one. So the app that allows me to do this is called iScreen. But once you download the app, this is how the app layout looks like. On the top over here, just scroll down until you find standby. And you have some custom made ones right here already pre-selected. And some of these are animated as well as you see this one right here. Again, it combines two widgets into one to successfully do this. They also give you the ability to DIY it too. Now this app is a monthly subscription or a yearly plan, which I believe is $20. But if you watch a couple ads, you get some of these selected ones for free. But because it offers so much freedom, this is the reason why I love using this app. And all you need to do is lock the device, put your phone sideways. And once you do that, just long hold. And then just make sure you're on the widget page. Just long hold, tap the plus right in here search up ice screen and then just add the widget tap done and then let's add the one on the left side same thing search up the widget search up the app add it tap done 
And then on here, since we're on the right side, you're going to have to select the right panel. You can leave the rest blank. Tap done. And then go on the other side, tap on it, and let's add the left panel. Just like that. Tap done. And now you have two widgets into one, and this widget gives you a lot of information. That's how you could customize it. Another app to also download that gives you an additional widget, it's Sports Alerts. So when adding this widget, and this gives you the ability to actually track what current games and the current score that's currently playing. Right now there isn't any game, so it's not gonna show me anything, but this app is free to use. Then if you're excited for like a vacation trip or an anniversary, you can also download Countdown, which will do a countdown each and every time when something's coming up, and just create a new countdown. So I created this one for Thanksgiving, and now we've successfully created a countdown for Thanksgiving. Now just log our device, rotate, and this is how it looks like. Now this app is a one-time purchase of $6. So once you buy it once, it's lifetime, no monthly subscription or anything like that. But you don't have to buy widgets as there's some cool ones already built into this. So if we delete one to make room, tap plus, you could find things like Samsung, which allows me to control my cooktop, Toro, the weather, media control. But my most favorite one from Apple is HomeKit. By having HomeKit, I can control my household appliances or electronics like smart TVs and such, monitor my grid forecasts, my kilowatt usage, my off-peak time rates. And when I had add, and when I add, I could do recommendations or I could select certain items like my smart robot vacuum. Tap done. And now I have control of my robot vacuum from here. And then when it comes to additional powerful tools that's already built into your phone, the first one can be located in the timer app. You see, let's set a timer real quick. 13 minutes, I guess that's, that's good. Locker device, activate, standby. On the top here, if you tap on it, it'll do like a cool hourglass animation. So this orange will actually fill up. You can pause and end the timer from here. And then real quick, if you guys been enjoying this video so far, finding this information informative, if you can kindly take two seconds to hit that like button and like, really appreciate those because those really do help out the channel a lot and allows the channel to be powered by you guys, the viewers, which is why you don't see brand segments taking like a minute or two off your time. So a big thank you to those that continue hitting that like button and like, really does mean a lot and supports this channel and makes this channel brand free from any ads. So thank you once again, let's carry on. Another great one is when you're listening to music and you have it connected to like your Bluetooth speakers or something like that or a surround sound system in your household. Lock your device, activate nightstand mode, and you have audio waves on the top. You can always select and basically treat this like a, like a media player. Change track, pause and play, unmute your tracks, or even select other Bluetooth devices or AirPlay devices you could connect to, like your television as an example. And then for incoming calls, you can always tap right here. I'll give you a quick access to your voicemail, decline call, as well as more caller information. And whichever app you're in, you always have access to this little slider, which you can slide up and it'll take you back to your homepage. Most of the time, if I'm working, I just tap voicemail. And then it simply doesn't end there. Live activities can also be tracked on standby mode as well. So for instance, let's say I'm tracking a flight because I'm picking up my friend at the airport. I have a flight being tracked right here. Activate standby. And on the top right here, you'll see a little plane icon. Tap on it, and it will give you real world feedback when your plane is arriving or departure or about to get close so you can make your way to the airport and pick up your friend or family member. This also works with like order pickups like at Best Buy, Starbucks, Uber, and much, much more. So that's about it for this video. That's basically all the cool things you could do on standby mode on your iPhone. It gives you access to a lot of amazing, powerful tools, everything for monitoring your household while keeping everything minimal, yet easy to access and customize. Again, links to all those third-party apps will be in the description down below, as well as this accessory. But let me know in the comment section, what app do you recommend others to also check out for the widget section of standby mode? Anyways, Hopefully you guys enjoyed If you wish to watch more, maybe you'd like to see some cool tips and tricks that you could do on your iPhone side of things. I cover some amazing, powerful tools that everybody always overlook or didn't even realize existed right over there on some cool features that Apple fails to promote that I feel are extremely powerful. Definitely do check out that video over there. Thank you so much for watching.